Hey, it's Johnny from Chicago South SEO, and today I am going to show you how to restore your WordPress database. Now, there are a couple of things that I'm going to assume. I'm going to assume that you do have a WordPress website. I'm going to also assume that you are familiar with using the WordPress dashboard. The third thing I'm going to assume is that you are using a WordPress plugin that has showed you shown you how to create a database and that you created one it's sitting out there whether it's sitting in WordPress or whether it's sitting locally already I'm going to assume that and then lastly I'm going to assume that you have your IDs and your passwords to one get into your hosting account and to your ID and password for using uh, the database uh, restore application which is uh, going to be today it's going to be PHP my admin which is what we're going to use so in any case let's go ahead and get started the, f the first thing you're going to want to do is you're going to want to open up your browser and navigate to your WordPress login screen and most can be you can get there by just putting in the site name and then a backslash and then a wp-login.php that will get you into I dare say 99.9.9 percent .9 .9 of uh, uh, the admin panels and once you've done that you've gotten there you're going to want to put in your username and then your password and then you'll click login once you click login you'll be taken to the WordPress dashboard and this I'm going to show you now how to get to your database in the case that you have not downloaded a copy locally that you're going to use to up store uh, to restore so the first thing you're going to want to do from the admin panel is click on tools then come across the backups you'll click backups and what that's going to do is that's going to bring you to a a list or your list of uh, backups that you're managing now the particular plugin that I use is called uh, WordPress WordPress backups I believe that's the name of the plugin and as you can see in front of you on this screen I have three copies or three backup copies one was cre two were created on the 4th of October and one was created on the 5th the next thing I need to do or we need to do is we need to download a copy of our database down to our local drive and in this case for this particular application we merely come to actions and we click on download. We'll click on download. That will bring up a download or a a, a save box. And this is a Windows. Uh, I'm using Microsoft Windows. And I just leave the default setting, which is save files. Here's the name of the file right here, and it, and the date. And you'll notice that this file is a zip file. And so when you when you after you click OK and you download that file you're going to need a zip program such as WinZip or 7-zip or even the zip program that comes built into Windows 7 to open that up you're, you're gonna need to open that file up now we'll click OK and once we click OK we will basically begin the download process now I've already done that for the sake of this video and what I've already also done I'm gonna cancel this real quick is I have already taken my zipped file and I've already I'm gonna to go to the location that it's sitting yours may be different FTP transfers and when the file is first downloaded it is a compressed file now what I basically did to unzip it was I right clicked it and I clicked on open now what I could have also done is I could have also clicked on 7-zip and extract the files or I could have also used another command that would extract the files that says extract all it's going to depend on your installation so once I did that what I conveniently did you don't have to do this this is just uh, out of habit is I created two sections one that um, has all of my program files and one that just contains the database only now the product that I'm using not only does it back up the database but it backs up all the program files as well all the files I have on my server for that install your backup may only do just the database and I can also in this program set it for just database but for the sake of this example we're only uploading the database file so we'll click on uh, unzip database file and as you can see here is uh, the database file that we're going to need to restore uh, you'll notice that it also ends in a SQL extension or as a SQL and just for a little information this is 
refer to as a MySQL database. So we've got our file downloaded and we're basically ready to restore this database file. So I'm going to close this real quick so we can continue on. The next thing you're going to need to do is you're going to need to log into your hosting service. In this case I use Bluehost.com and from here you're going to need to log into what's called your control panel or uh, also known as the cPanel. And so to do this you're going to need your ID and your password that you were given by your hosting service. So we'll click on that and once we've clicked on that that's going to bring us to the account login screen. And here is where you'll put in your domain name of the site that you're going to be restoring to and your password and you'll click login. And once you've done that it will bring you to what's referred to as the cPanel. Now you may or may not have a cPanel but you will probably more than definitely have a main screen that will have a number of apps and things like that. Now once you've gotten to this screen what you need to do now is you need to navigate down or you need to find usually a set of database tools in this case it's down further on uh, this particular uh, this particular seat panel and you're going to want to click what's referred to as PHP my admin and that's the tool or the utility that we're going to use to find and restore the database that we want to restore so you would either double click this or click this once and you'll be brought to the you'll be taken to the PHP my admin the welcome screen now here you're going to need to know the username that you created or that was created when you did your you did your automatic install of WordPress and the database was created and you're going to need to know that password as well now if you don't have these things my suggestion is that you contact your hosting company and they should be able to provide this information for you so once you have put in your username and your password you click go and that's going to bring you to uh, the what I call the local host or, or, or a, a, a number of options or utilities. Now the next thing you're going to want to do is you're going to want to click on databases, the database tab. That's going to bring you to a list of all of the databases that you created for various blogs or websites. Now I've got multiple multiple ones because I'm running uh, a number of uh, sub menus or sub accounts you may only have one the next thing you're going to want to do is to find the database that you want to replace and you want to be certain you want to really be sure because if you select and you restore the wrong database you've got a problem but in this case this is our database we're going to restore and by clicking this it's going to jump us to the database so we'll click that once and it's going to bring us directly into that database and we'll know we're there because we can see all of the tables associated with this database. Now the next step we're going to do is we're going to click on import. Now this is where we're going to begin the import of our or, or the restoration of our database file. Now that's going to bring us to uh, another screen. Now the first thing you want to do is you want to come down to file to the file to import section. You want to highlight browse your computer going to click on browse you're going to we're going to find our file give me a second I'll get there we're going to find our database file our unzip database file we've found our unzip database file we know it's a database file because it ends in an extension of SQL we highlight that in Windows if you're using Linux or you're using the Mac it may be a little different then we'll click open so that has kind of staged us to do the the restoration. The next thing you're going to want to verify is you're going to want to come down to the format section here and you want you're going to want to ensure that you have SQL selected. And that's just there are a number of uh, ways you can restore your database. You can use uh, a number of file types. You can use um, an XML, you can use a CSV file, but in the case of this we actually have the actual SQL file that we're going to want to use. So we'll select SQL and once we've done that we're ready to do our, our restore and we just come down and we click go. We'll click go and when the restore process is finished in, my, in PHP my admin you'll get a message that says import has successfully finished it'll give you a number of uh, queries that were executed and it will give you the file name and 
when you see this screen and you see this green ch check mark you know that your restore was was completed successfully the next step you're going to want to do is you're going to want to log out of PHP my admin you're going to want to log out of your hosting account and you're going to want to then come back to your WordPress installation and you're going to want to try to you want a couple things first I would suggest that you get rid of this and see if you can just if see if you can just enter the site on its own and if you're able to enter the site you know you've done a successful job of restoring your database and then after you've done that then you're going to walk you, you're going to want to log back into your panel and you're going to want to also see if you can get into your uh, admin panel and do things um, so that's basically how you restore a database doesn't matter what program you use that's it that's all to it you've done it and if you followed these steps and you were successful great job if you did have an error or get an error you did have some problems um, there's a link at the bottom to some sites that will help you troubleshoot that once again this is John I hope this video has been uh, has worked out for you if you could do me a favor if, the, if this video was uh, did help you please like my Facebook fan page follow me on Twitter or G plus me thanks a lot take care have a great day